This is how you make a Haas effect in Ableton. You're just gonna take the stock delay plugin. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off the filter, turn off the feedback, turn the dry and wet all the way up, unlink the channels, change the right to time, the left to time, set either the right or left to one millisecond, and change the right anywhere between seven milliseconds and 30 milliseconds. That's how you make a Haas effect. After you do that, you can save it as Haas. So anytime you want to add a Haas effect, you literally have this plugin. And then you can adjust either the left or right channels however you want. What the Haas effect does for anyone who doesn't know, it creates the illusion of your track sounding wider by setting the left and right channels off. I'm gonna load up a kick drum from Drums That Knock Volume 9. All right, so we got a kick. Then I'm gonna take what we just made, Haas effect. We're gonna make the kick fully mono, just to prove the point, just in case. To do that, click mono. Watch what happens when I put the Haas effect on it. Can you guys hear that? It widened the sound. I'm gonna show this also with a loop. Let's go into Drums at Knock, Volume 9, and get a melody loop. So we got a melody loop. I'm gonna turn off warp. Let's take the Haas effect that we put on the kick, and let's add it to this melody loop. First, we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna put it in mono with the utility. Listen to it now. Very narrow, it's in mono. Then let's add the Haas effect, watch what it does. Widens your sound. Play around with these channels. You can make the right one at one millisecond and turn the left one up between seven and 30. Play with it and just find what the sweet spot is. That's one way you can make your sound wider. Another plugin I like is Isotope Imager. First thing, make sure Stereoize is clicked. And here you have bands. You can make it wider by band. So you don't just do the Haas effect, slap it on and good to go. You can separately widen individual bands. This is the sample in mono. Now we're gonna start widening the bands. Adjust the frequency ranges. When the bands are all the way down, you'll see, since it's mono in the spectrograph, it's just a straight line. As I start opening these bands up, you see it getting wider in the stereo field. There's also a plugin, it's called Wider. It's a company called Polyverse Music, and it's just one knob. The one downside of using stereo with plugins is you can run into issues with phase, so that's something definitely to look out for. Another way you can make your sound wider, Kilohertz has a plugin called Haas. I've actually never used this, but I have the bundle, so let's try it out. Without it? There you go. Adjust the delay until it sounds right. Can flip it. Let's compare the Kilohertz one to the Ableton one we made. That's the Ableton one. Now the Kilohertz one. Let's figure out how to do it in FL. I'm gonna assign this to a mixer track. In FL, to widen your sound, you can use this stock plugin called Fruity Stereo Shaper. And then just mess with the delay knob. Then you can play with the volumes of each side. And there's another plugin, Fruity Stereo Enhancer. That is another way you can do it. You can play with the stereo separation knob and the phase offset knob.